Hi, I'm David Katzmeyer with CNET, and this is the Samsung LN52B750. It's one of three sizes in the B750 series. There's also a 46 and a 40 inch, and this review does apply to all three sizes. Uh, this TV is one of Samsung's better non-LED backlit TVs. It uses standard fluorescent backlights, but it does still produce a pretty good picture. It doesn't have that thin form factor of the edge lit LEDs on Samsung's line. However, this one's a standard seen from the side. It's about three and a half inches deep. So if you want that really, really ultra thin look, this is not the TV, but it's still pretty darn thin. The styling on this TV is uh, pretty standard. It's glossy black on all four sides. There's really no touch of color on this TV. It doesn't have that kind of color accent that a lot of the other Samsung models do. It does have this nice kind of clear uh, around the edge of the screen and also around the stand, and the stand does swivel. The feature set on this TV is quite extensive. There's a 240 hertz refresh rate, so it refreshes faster for less motion blur. It also has de-judder processing that's adjustable on this set, which is a nice touch. There's also plenty of ways to play around with the picture. You can go in and adjust the uh, gamma, color temperature, even color management systems, so overall features are very extensive. TV is also compatible with Yahoo widgets, which are little internet content nodules such as Twitter, sports scores, weather, news information, that sort of thing. There's going to be a lot more widgets coming soon, but this TV allows it to uh, use these widgets and uh, download new ones from the widget gallery. Around back, you'll find three HDMI inputs as well as two component video and a PC input. The side panel adds a fourth HDMI input with plenty of overall connectivity. In terms of performance, we really like what we saw on the Samsung TV. We mentioned that de-judder processing before. It actually does a pretty good job of being able to separate the de-judder from the actual anti-blurring, so you get that anti-blurring effect without having to deal with the smoothness of de-judder. We like that. We also really like the black level performance. Again, for a TV that doesn't use LED backlights, still very nice deep blacks. Uh, color accuracy, again, very good on this set. We really found it hard to complain about much on this TV, although didn't really like the glossy screen. That's a quick look at the Samsung LN52B750, and I'm David Katzmeyer. Hey, I'm Tom Merritt, host of CNET's Top 5. You know, there are many more than five reasons why you might want to watch Top 5. You can get a load of the best gadgets out there, the most popular ones, the worst downloads, top TV robots, and there's always a chance you could win fabulous prizes. Check out CNET Top 5 at CNET.com slash Top 5.